There's a new scam being mailed out to unsuspecting consumers. Local 12 troubleshooter Howard Ain tells us in this consumer alert that if you aren't careful, you could end up losing a lot of money. Healthcare fraud is becoming a national epidemic, but there are ways to determine if you have been installed in a scheme to rip off our healthcare system. Healthcare fraud costs American taxpayers more than $80 billion a year, according to federal officials. Healthcare fraud is not a victimless crime. It's costing taxpayers billions of dollars, but it's also putting people at risk because people are getting unnecessary or possibly unsafe medical procedures that they don't really need in the first place. So how can you tell if you're a pawn in a health care fraud scheme? Someone is billing Medicare for um, services you did not receive, services different than what you've received, or services that you weren't that aren't medically necessary for you or you're not entitled to. The easiest way to know if your coverage has been compromised is to read your Medicare summary notice carefully. Patients usually receive one every three months. On that statement you can see what's being billed to Medicare and how much Medicare paid, how much you would be responsible for, the coinsurance or co-payment. Same for an insurance company's explanation of benefits form. Read each charge thoroughly to make sure it's legitimate. Another problem area, home health care. Scam artists often call elderly patients and offer them services. Do you want somebody to come check your blood pressure or would you like somebody to come clean your house or buy you groceries? While they sound helpful, they are not home health care services approved by a doctor. Once they have your Medicare number, they can bill Medicare they can falsify documents to bill Medicare. Maybe they come to your house and maybe they do clean your house one or two times. That's it. They're not providing a skilled nursing. Another important piece of advice to keep in mind. If a consumer gives up their personal information, such as Social Security number or Medicare number, which is a Social Security number, I would treat that like an identity theft. Everybody should be aware of what's happening out there. Everybody needs to do something about it. If you believe you've been the victim of health care fraud, you can call 1-800-MEDICARE. An advocate will then provide you with assistance. Howard Ain, Local 12 Troubleshooter.